Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Jin Kazama from Tekken. Let's get started in the center of our page with the eye. So I'm going to start on the left side with the upper eyelid. I'm going to start on the outside of the eye. I'm just going to curve down and then in. Let's leave a gap in the center and do the same thing on the right. So we're going to line up the inside, curving up and then out. From the inside of the eyelid, I just want to curve up and in for a little frown line. So we're just going to round up that little end and go up. Do the same thing on the right side. And now let's tuck the eyes in underneath the eyelid. So I'm going to start on the outside and just curve a half circle in towards the frown line. And then we'll do the same thing on the right, starting from the inside. On the top left of the eyes, we're going to add a small circle for a highlight. So let's start on the left side, just underneath the eyelid. Draw a circle and just tuck that in underneath. We're going to line this up on the right side. So we're going to match up the bottom and this will get tucked in underneath the eyelid a little bit further. Now in the middle of the eyes, we're going to draw a smaller circle tucked in underneath the highlight for the pupil. So let's start underneath this highlight on the left and then just curve around. We're going to fill that in black. We'll do the same thing on the right, just underneath the highlight. Go all the way up to the eyelid, and then we'll fill that in black. Let's step down in the middle and draw on the nose. So in the center here, we're going to draw a point. From this point, I'm going to curve up and out towards the left, and we'll curve up and out towards the right. Now I'm just going to hook up the sides of the nostril with a short little curve. Now we're going to move down below the nose and draw on the mouth. So we're going to start with a curve from left to right. I'm going to have him gritting his teeth. Now from here we're going to do a hard turn coming down to the corners of the mouth. Just coming down and out. Now let's connect those bottom lines with a curve. Going up in the middle and then across. Let's add the teeth. So about halfway down this line here, I'm going to draw a straight line going across. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now I'm just going to cross it like a T all the way to the bottom. And we're going to fill in the bottom corners in black. Directly below the mouth, we're going to draw a curve for the lower lip. Just a little short curve going up. Now let's move up and draw in the hairband sort of draped over the face. So directly above the left eye, we're going to start up here with the part, the point. From this point, I'm going to curve down in between the eyes. Sort of aiming down towards the nose. I'm going to just hook it down. From here, I'm just going to curve it back up and we're going to taper this line. So it gets thicker as it comes up. Now from here, I'm just going to layer another hair in behind. So about halfway down, Curve down and I'm going to taper that back up. On the left side, I'm going to draw one larger hairband going around the eye. So let's start at this top point here, curve around the top corner of the eye, and come down. Now from here, I'm going to curve back up. So we're tapering this line, going up. We're going to do the same thing on the right side. So underneath this hairband, we're going to go around the top corner of the eye and then come down. From here, we're going to taper back up and then just pull that over. Now I want to go in and thicken up the eyebrows. So from the bottom corner of the frown line, I'm just going to taper this line going up underneath the hair. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now let's go ahead and fill the eyebrows in black. We're going to add another layer of the hairband coming down the side of the head. So we step up on the side, we'll curve down, and we're going to curve back up and around. It's right about there. Let's do the same thing on the right. So stepping up, curve down, go around the side of the head, and pull that in. Now let's tuck the bottom of the head underneath the hairband. So right up in here on the inside edge of this hair, we curve down, and then just pull that in towards the bottom of the chin in the center. We're going to do the same thing on the right. Curve up. We're just going to pull that in towards the inside edge of this hair bang. Let's give him some cheekbones. So on the left side, I'm just going to draw a short curve coming down. Do the same thing on the right. Now let's tuck the ears on the side of the head. So just up on the left side, underneath the hair bang, we're going to curve out. And then we'll just pull that in towards the side of the head. 
We'll do the same thing on the right. Curving up and out, and pulling that in. I'm gonna draw some inner ear detail. So right up here, I'm just gonna hook this in behind the hair. Let's move up and draw in the rest of the hair. So it goes up towards a spike. So on the side on top of the ear, I'm gonna curve up and out and do the same thing on the right side. Going up to the same height, we're gonna hook these back in with a short curve. Let's draw another spike going up. From here, I'm gonna curve up, start to pull that inwards, and then we'll hook this back in. Let's go back to the left side and draw the hair going up to the peak of the spike. So from here, I'm just gonna step down, do a little overlap, and curve up and in. I'm gonna do a short hook coming back down. From here, I'm gonna do another overlap, curving in towards the middle, and then I'm gonna hook this back down. I'm gonna do a little layer here. So I'm gonna step up, draw another curve going across. Now in between here, about halfway along this line, I'm gonna curve over in the opposite direction. Now let's curve this back down, working our way towards the right side. I'm gonna curve that down. We're gonna step up, again, halfway along this curve, come down towards the right. We step back up, draw one more point. Now from here, I wanna curve all the way towards this point. We're gonna actually go over that line just to create a little overlap. Okay, so now that we've got the head, let's work our way down the body. So I'm gonna start by turning the arms up so you see the backs of the forearms. So the fist will be just beside the head. So on either side, we're gonna step down and draw in the wrist line. So on the left, I'm gonna draw a curve coming out from the outside, curving down, and then in. We're gonna do the same thing on the right side. So let's line up the top, curve down and then in. I'm going to connect those two points with a half circle, going up towards the knuckles and then back down. We're going to do the same thing on the right, going up and then back down. Let's add some studs on the back of the fist. So right at the base right here, we're going to draw one circle and we're going to draw one more on either side. Now up above, I'm going to add two more circles, just sort of in between. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting with the center, we'll draw one circle on either side. And then now in between, I'm gonna step up and draw two more. Now we're gonna go in and tuck the fingers and the thumb in behind the hand. So on the outside edge here, I'm gonna draw the thumb. I'm just gonna curve out and then just pull that in. Along the top, we're gonna add three fingers. So right at the base of the thumb, we're gonna go up and then pull that back down. Do that again, go up and down. We'll do one more time, going up and then down. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Starting at the corner of this glove, go around, then back in. From here, we're gonna go up to the first finger and then pull that back. Do the second finger, and then the third finger is gonna go up and in, in towards the side of the glove. Now that we have the hands, we're gonna draw the arms in an angle going out towards the elbows. So let's start at the top corner here. I'm gonna hook out and then pull it in. On this corner, we're gonna go in the opposite direction, going down and then going out. Now we're gonna connect those two points with a half oval coming towards the wrist. From here, I'm gonna go up and then I'm gonna hook that back down. Now before I go any further, let's do the same thing on the right side. From this corner, we're gonna curve around and then down. From the top, we're gonna to go around in the opposite direction. Now we're gonna connect those two points with that half oval, going up towards the wrist, and then down on the right side. Now right in between these two points is the elbow. So I'm gonna step up from the point, come down, and then go back up. I'm gonna step up and just draw a curve from left to right. Let's do the same thing on the right. So we're gonna step up, draw a curve for the elbow, and we're gonna step up and just draw another curve. At the top of the curve here, we're gonna draw two straight lines going up and towards the wrist. So at the top, go straight up, and then at the bottom. Now in between, I'm just gonna split this in half with a straight line. Let's do the same thing on the right. So now that we've got the arms on top, we're gonna layer the body in behind. So I'm gonna draw on the shoulders first. So on the side of the jaw, I'm just gonna curve down and out in behind the fist on either side. Now let's move inside and draw on the sides of the body coming down towards the hips. So on the side of this hand, on the inside edge, we're going to curve down and out. We'll do the same thing on the right. 
in between these two points on the hips, I'm gonna step in towards the middle and draw the knot of the belt. So let's start with two short lines, side by side. We're gonna close off the bottom with a slight curve, and at the top we're gonna to curve up and then down. Now we're gonna draw the belt coming down on either side. From the left corner, curve down and out towards the left, and then towards the right. Now from the base, we're just gonna draw a short curve going upwards. And then from these points, I'm gonna curve up towards the top of the knot. Now let's take these two points and connect it with a curve in behind the belt knot. And we'll step up and draw that same curve just in behind the knot. Let's add some simple detail to the body. So in the center of the chest here, I'm gonna draw a curve going from left to right, going up in the center. Now from the chin, I'm gonna draw a short line coming down. Let's move down in the center below the knot and draw a curve from left to right, going up and then down. On the left side, I'm gonna step in and just draw a curve coming down and out towards the heel. Do the same thing on the right side. Now from these two points, I'm gonna draw two long curves going out towards the side of the leg. So from this corner, I wanna curve up and out towards the left. And then from the hips, I'm gonna draw a curve coming down towards these points. Going out and then down. Now we're gonna tuck the feet in underneath the pant. So from this corner of the pant, we're gonna step in and draw a curve coming in and then up towards the heel. On the right side, we'll do the same. So stepping in, rounding up the heel, and then going back up. On the left side, we're gonna draw the ball of the foot, curving back down, and then back up. I'm gonna stack the toes going out towards the left. So we start with a large sort of C shape. We stack two smaller toes on the side, starting on the side of the toe, just curve around, and I'll draw one more going around. Let's do the same thing on the right. Drawing the ball of the foot first, curving up towards the toe, draw a big backwards C, and we stack two smaller toes in the side. Now going back to the left side, in between these two small toes, I'm gonna curve up and underneath the pant. And we step up over the big toe, we'll curve down towards the ball of the foot. Now from here, we're gonna step up and curve in behind the pant. Now at this point between the heel and the ball of the foot, we're gonna curve up underneath that pad. Let's do the same thing on the right. In between the small toes, we'll curve over underneath the pant. Now we're gonna step up, curving down towards the ball of the foot. Now from here, we're gonna step up, curving up underneath the pant. Now from this little point here, we're gonna curve up underneath the foot pad. The final thing I'm gonna do is add the flame on the left leg here. So let's start on the side. Start with a curve going up, then pulling it over. I'm gonna work my way down with a curve, and then we'll go up underneath the belt. Then we're gonna step over, curve left, we're gonna round it out, and go up. We're gonna hook that back. Now we're gonna go over in towards the inside of the leg. Now I'm just gonna trim this out on the inside. Starting from the left side, we're gonna step down, just curve up, we're gonna leave an even gap all the way around. down and then back in towards the inside of the leg and that's pretty much it there we have it there's Jin Kazama from Tekken I hope you enjoyed today's lesson make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below thanks for watching we'll see you again soon